It's um, a lot of the logs there have been like, sharpened. It's like giant pencils. Fences. Fences, of course, yeah. Hello and welcome to another video. This time we are in Exmoor National Park and it's quite a windy day, a bit chilly. We've come to Porlock Weir, which is on the coastline here as you can see. That's Wells over there, good old Wells. And we're going to walk to what is, I think is one of the smallest churches in the country. It's called Culbone Church and it's, there's no road access so you do have to walk to it and it's up that very steep hill up behind us. Or not, we are has a very oldy worldy charm about it. It's all old um, cottages and the lovely shipping pub over there. And an extremely expensive car park. Yeah, six pounds for four hours, so we feel like under pressure to rush to do this walk. Yeah? So we've just come away from the car park, and well, the car park, as you can see, starts at sea level. And I'm not sure how high Colbone Church is, but it is a fair way up in that wood, those wooded hills. Full up already. Yeah, could be a bit overdressed maybe. <laughs> Got up one and a half it's litres of water. There. It's cold down there. Yeah, it's a bit of a wind coming off the sea, isn't there? Well, I'm out of breath already because the minute we go out of the car, there's a steep bit going up. I don't like that. <laughs> it's nice to have a bit of a warm up on a flat bit first, isn't it? Before we start going up, got some nice views of uh, Porlock Bay now behind her. Only one and a half miles to Colburn Church. Doesn't sound much, but it is all up. <laughs> so it's going to be a quite hard walk. There's paths absolutely everywhere here. This is a walker's paradise. So, Coast Path and Colbo, which is where we're going, that way. But there's another one there. That one goes back to Porlock Weir, where we started. And then this one up here goes to Worthy Coombe. No vehicles. Yeah, obviously. Which is, Worthy Coombe is like a deep coombe, which eventually winds its way up to the top of Porlock Hill. Well, I feel like I'm a bit overdressed. I think I'm going to have to take all these coats off in a minute. <laughs> and this lovely building here, is uh, well, it's a gateway to the one of the toll roads. Look, this is um, a steep toll road actually. 
not very well much used, is it? Really? Not really, no. Um, there's a sign there, it says to Limmouth. There. And you have the toll charges, £2 for a car, £3 for a camper van and motorbike £2. Sorry no walkers, horses or bikes. Use nearby footpaths and bridleways. Oh, it's a nice bit of breeze, I've took my coat off, I was absolutely melting. I made that classic mistake of overdressing and then within minutes I was sweating buckets. But we're starting to go up now. Some lovely views going through these trees, all these ferns. And this is a strange sight in the middle of a countryside footpath. Walls either side and a tunnel. What is this about? Yeah, strange this is, isn't it? Oh, spooky. spooky. And there's another tunnel coming up as well. <laughs> These amazing tunnels were once part of a grand Italian garden at Ashley Coombe House. The house was originally built in 1799 as a hunting lodge. The tunnels were constructed so that tradesmen could approach the tradesmen's entrance of the house without being seen by the residents of the house. It eventually became a country club in 1950 but developed a dubious reputation and was closed after a few years. The house fell into a state of disrepair and was demolished in 1974, unfortunately. Landslip to keep out. Yeah, the, the coastline along here is uh, some of the highest sea cliffs in England, I think, if not the highest sea cliffs. And a lot of it is wooded and very inaccessible. There's a lot of steps being cut into the hillside now because it goes up very steep. Let's just listen. few birds and the sea down on the shore below. Lovely. No cars. Are you come in then? Come on. <sighs> Thought I'd leave you behind anyway. It costs 400 pounds. It's a good um, exercise workout for your gluteus maximus macros, isn't it? Bum bustles in plain English. Oh. What's happened to the path? It looks like it ends suddenly, that's strange. Nice little beach down there. That's strange, it's like a proper... It's proper water. This must have been part of that tunnels complex thing for some reason. I don't know why it ends here. And this is like, go, this is a look of viewpoint, isn't it? I don't know. I didn't say that. Yeah. Uh, right, so back we go then. And I'll have to try a different path. See you in a minute. <laughs> what we found on the ground? Look at that. An arrow somebody's put. Because I think what happens is that you come to this point here and then it's a bit confusing which way we go. And that's the way we went, thinking that was the path. And it wasn't. It's clearly this way, as this wooden arrow shows. And there's actually a sign <laughs> as well. Yeah. I bet we're not the first ones that got confused by that. There we are, a coal bone. first. So. <laughs> so it's a nice path and it all well built but I think parts of this path are the remnants of something to do with that tunnels because it looks quite old. That's quite, I don't know how far it is to the church actually. We haven't been here for a while have we? No, a long time. But I think once we've gained the height, most of the height, then the um, path follows the contour line of the hill so it shouldn't be too bad then. 
So now I walk down this little steep bit here. And this is the surprising bit because we keep seeing these forestry commission signs. I think, where's the vehicles going to? But they're obviously driving down these little narrow roads here. And somehow, you can see from the tyre imprints, that they've actually driven some sort of vehicles up and down this. It's really steep. Got to watch we don't slip going down here actually because it's quite skiddy. Uh, yeah. Lots of loose stones. Tiny little steps. You can still slip. Okay. You're slip, slip now, you get £250 from you've been framed. Nope, okay. That's lost me 250 <laughs> There's loads of logs ahead where they've been cutting them down. Oh look, there's um, a lot of the logs there have been like sharpened. It's like giant pencils. Fencing. Fencing, of course, yeah. Pencils. <laughs> they look like pencils. That is amazing. Look at that. It's like, there's like loads of spears. Ow! Sharp. Yeah, it looks like something from that Indiana Jones film, isn't it? With all the spikes yeah, coming. No, they just bang the fencing in, didn't right. they? And put the wire fencing around there. That's a good idea. Very good. Keep the animals in. Yeah, and here we've got a lovely view of the sea, actually. I think we're just over 100 metres high at the moment. About 130 metres high. It's very calm, isn't it, the sea? Sharks? No, nothing. Very calm. They're all asleep on the seabed. a nice view there, isn't it? Across the wells. Okay. Yeah, it drops away so steeply as well, doesn't it? Those trees, they're like, a bit like the ones in Wisman's Wood on Dartmoor, aren't they? Like, um, wiggly trees. <laughs> I don't know what type of trees they are. Gnarly. Gnarly and wiggly. See? There. Oh, really hot now. This is a complete mistake bringing coats. I should oh. have just come in a t-shirt. Really warm. <sighs> the path is very up and down. Yeah, you're going up and not down much, but you don't uh, down and up, yeah. but you're gradually gaining height. I mean, what are we now? We are, we're 187 metres above the sea. And remember, we started at sea level, so this is a fair old climb. I think we're only about halfway to the church, so we've still got a long way to go yet. And we've only got four hours parking. We are against the clock. <laughs> Quick. Let's go. We've got to go. Oh look, there it is. Oh. We've just suddenly come upon it. That's nice. A bit further back, I thought it was only about halfway. I think my um, electronic GPS was glitching or something because it showed us nowhere near here. And yet, there about 10 is. minutes later, we suddenly <laughs> come across the church. Oh, it's nice. It's so it's down in this little deep coombe. It's almost alpine-like, but it just goes up to steep and all these lovely forests. Look at the bark on this tree here. Wow, this is super. That is a tall tree, isn't it? <laughs> it goes a long way up. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, it? look, you can see it just poking its way through there. Well, here we are, just coming into space. Oh, look, there's a lovely little horse foot there, something. Some little tumbling falls I can hear. And some old vehicle of some kind here is completely overgrown. I wonder how long that's been there. Now look at these lovely little tumbling falls. Look at that, that's lovely, isn't it? So how on earth did they get their cars in here? They must go up. Let's use this track here. Yeah, it's like a private track. I thought I wouldn't even call it a road. And that must come out at the road at the top of Pollock Hill. Wow, this is very private and secluded. It must be very lonely for that. Yeah. yeah, very unique style of house at the arch, right? 
Right, down the little track to the church there. There's a few cars down here, so it must, be t it must take them ages, because you can't go very fast along these tracks, could you? Yeah, not at all. I mean, it's just about wide enough for one car, really, at a time. You have to watch Luke scrape the edges. There's the church, look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, so we bought these just the other day in the little um, walking camping shop in um, Porlock. Six pounds each, and they're, they're all, so light, they're almost floating away. I have to pull them back down for that light. And what they are, almost. <laughs> Not exaggerated, but that's what, that's what happens on every, every advert. Exaggerated. You run through them, and it's like a little concertina. And then you put them down on some rough ground or a muddy or wet bench. I sit down. And sit down and then very nice six pound each great isn't it? you've got to remember uh, you've got them because you could get up and walk yeah, away and walk them. away and remember yeah <laughs> so let's just have a little relax here a minute and we can adjust from here and just admire the beauty of the church Inside the church, then have a little look, yeah? This very small. <laughs> it's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. So either the people got a hike for two hours like we have, or <laughs> um, I don't know what they've done in the past. They get airlifted. But I would imagine nowadays they must come down from the track at, dropped off at the top of Porlock Hill and walk. I don't think so. This is it's still not that close to a road, is it? No, it's a house here. There's not many services here, is there? No. More a tourist attraction, yeah. I don't know. So it's for its historical value because it's very old. Back of the church now. Yeah. Look at that. Those small little windows there, look. Tiny little windows. Okay, so that's the church. We've got to get a move on now because we have got limited parking. So we've got two miles back to Porlock where it says. Have to run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What did you think of your little mat then? It's nice. Yeah, that was very good. Um, we sat on a bench, which was pretty dry anyway. We just yeah. wanted to try them, but I thought we'd imagine all the hard rock or a piece of dank ground. That will work very well. It's a good idea. Yeah. So light, aren't they? So yeah, very light. Brilliant. So last anyway. from the church as we. I wouldn't 
would like just to say... Yeah. Oh. You've got the camera. Yeah. I've got the GPS. Oh, I've left the backpack Loops. down there. I've left the back backpack. backpack. Oh, oh, you've got it. Ooh. Well, you wanted equal rights, you've got them. Really? No. Give us it here then. <laughs> Go on, I'll all wear it then. Oh. Where is it? Oh. There's a remembrance of another tunnel. Is that collapsed? Uh, Michelle, don't want to have a look. Don't know how dangerous it is. I'm just going to have a little look. Oh, I'll get over this first. Mm. Well, you can't go very far. It's been bricked up. It's just a shame. It's quite a little um, interesting hidden thing. But I suppose they bricked up because it could be in danger of collapsing. There's trees growing all around at the top and there's cracks in the wall so it is bulging just here. But right. <laughs> that was worth a look, wasn't it? Interesting. Right. Down. Down now. Quite a walk, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and warmer than we thought as well. It's a bit blowy again now, but in the trees up there, in the woods, it was no wind at all, there, so it got hot very quick. For that walk in, we decided to treat ourselves to a nice traditional cream tea. This is in the hamlet of um, Horner, not far from Porlock, and it's, um, it always does a good cream tea. So look at that. That's it. Don't matter, let's jam our cream first, or we'll go down the same way. Down there. <laughs> cream, double cream. Clotted cream. Clotted cream. Clotted cream. <laughs> yum, tea, yum, yum, yum. Mm. <laughs> oh, I don't think that grass seems to be doing an awful lot of good. The bath. Well, that's nice now. Mm. Completely full up now. Yeah. It's completely full. <laughs> that's it. End of the video. Bye. <laughs>